the lightweight division right now is an interesting place. Giorgio Petrosian had that division on lockdown. And then Andy Risty stepped in. Andy Risty is one of the most aggressive fighters on the Glory roster. It's considered a given that Petrosian would cruise to a decision and go to the final. And actually, Andy Risty knocked him out. I promised the world that I could, can beat Petrosian. No one can beat him, but I'm the first one. He took out two of the best fighters in one night, taking out the doctor, Giorgio Petrosian, and the great Roman Van Rossmoen. And then David Kyria steps in. Risty fought for the lightweight world title against David Kyria. Initially, it looked like the fight was going to be a one-sided one. He hurt Kyria early on. The fight moved into the later rounds and conditioning started to play a factor. It was a five round fight and uh, I do some stupid things, you know, and I, I don't think I have to fight the last round anymore. Risty started to fade in the fourth and in the fifth and Kiri was able to come back and he knocked out Risty. It was a very expensive lesson. Next time, I do it better. The result is that right now, the lightweight division is wide open. There's room for anybody to make their mark and show that they belong. Kai Hollenbeck has got the momentum coming into this fight. Coming over a big win over Warren Stivelmans. He also beat Albert Krauss at Glory in LA. Kai Hollenbeck can absolutely spoil things for Risty step in there himself and make his own mark on the division. Both of them have somewhat of a unique style to them. It's good to have that power to scare people, like make them a little bit nervous so that they know that at any second it could be over. What kind of style are you going to bring uh, in the next round? Same same kind of style, that fast-paced, reckless abandon. With my style of fighting, I, I know it's different, but uh, I created by myself. Everybody who faced Risty says that he's got a weird style. He's got a very unique sense of timing. They can't work out his angles, his distance, what combinations he's going to throw. The Glory Series is the top of the top. The reason you get into the sport, it's for the love of it. So, and the reason that you get you love it is because you're allowed to test yourself and and become to see how how strong you are internally and externally. So having that ability to fight these these top level guys is a way for me to test myself and push myself, which is what I've always wanted to do with the sport. This is going to be a huge test for Hollenbeck going against Andy Risty, and not only going against Andy Risty, but Andy Risty coming off a loss who really needs to get back in the win column. I don't get uh, nervous anymore to fight. I trust in myself to take over of the conquer. There's a lot going to be on the line because the winner is going to get a title fight against the VQ. For my money, Kai Hollenbeck is far and away one of the top prospects, if not the top prospect that America has. Kai Hollenbeck is the real deal. And watch this space. If he beats Andy Risty, then the sky is the limit. In the end, what wins fights? Skills. And as good as Kai Hollenbeck is, Andy Risty's probably a little bit better. Watch me in Glory 17. Kai Hollenbeck, I come for you. <laughs>